All right, Slackmaster so fans, gonna rewatch something I did on my old channel. This one's called Don't Go in the Woods, Blu-ray. Let's check it out. Our first scene in the movie is some nameless chick running through the woods. She seems scared. Then we have this guy. We've got four campers hiding, heading out into the woods. Here's a guy named Dale. He's an older fella. His wife is out there with him. He kind of ran ahead of her. And now he's paying for it. And here's his wife. This is a hot couple making out. Dick and Cherry. Dick heard something, so he grabbed his gun and ran out in the woods. Hey, out there. No, I know you're there. There's Dick. Next thing you know, whoever killed Dick also rolled Cherry down the, down the hill. No more Dick and Cherry. Here's some random woman in the woods also. All we know is that she's a painter, and presumably that's her baby. He's got one of them strung up inside of a sleeping bag, and whatever it is, is throwing rocks at it. The other guy is wrapped up in his sleeping bag until the machete comes and gets him. There you saw the wild man up on a hill there, up on a rock. And a random fisherman gets killed. Played on his friend. The last joke he ever played. That's Joni up in the uh, sleeping bag there. Joni got separated from these two. They found a, a cabin. And Peter and Ingrid run out of there, and Peter thinks he's got him now, but... Oops. Random hiker. Meanwhile, Joni is still wandering around by herself. And she's coming across another body. Craig and Ingrid spend the night in the woods, but then they finally make it out the next day, alive. We made it home. Well, we should have gone in earlier. What's the story on this wild man? Why she keeps going in and out of it? Kind of crazy. But if it's true, they had one hell of a weekend. Peter decides to leave the hospital. Apparently, they never even took his shirt off of him. Um, he leaves Ingrid in the hospital because he wants to go back out. Speaking of Joni, she found the wild man's cabin also. And unfortunately, the wild man found her. And he starts slicing her. This is the end of Joni. Meanwhile, for no reason whatsoever, we cut to a man in a wheelchair who is out wandering the wilderness by himself. And he's struggling. I guess he's here to lighten the mood. Really struggling. The cops are out searching for the wild man. They find his cabin. And then they find Joni. Looks like he's gonna be okay. Maybe not. Eventually Peter finds the wild man, or the wild man found him, and the attack is on. I guess Ingrid left the hospital too to follow Peter. Ingrid still has her same clothes on as well. Which, just to make sure they got him, Ingrid and Peter pummel the crap out of wild man. Guess we'll stop now. The movie ends with Peter and Ingrid walking back into the wilderness. But wait, we're not done yet. Our final, final scene in the movie is a little girl in the woods with an axe. What does it mean? Is that... And I like the theme song. Don't go out in the woods tonight. You probably will be thrilled. Don't go out in the woods. Okay. 
Let's talk about Don't Go in the Woods, a movie that I had on my uh, previous channel. I'm now redoing it. I had a request for it recently, actually. I believe it was Tanya who requested it. Um, so here you go, Tanya, Don't Go in the Woods. Um, it's a movie that I had on a beta tape back in the 80s. I think I rented it from a place called Red Owl Grocery Store in Two Rivers, Wisconsin. I had it on the same tape with The Forest, I think. Um, and those two movies always seem to be linked because Don't Go in the Woods was sometimes called Forest 2. Or, or vice versa, I'm not sure, but whatever the case is. Um, Don't Go in the Woods, it's a, your typical story of four campers going out in the woods doing their camping thing. And there's a maniac on the loose, a wild man, as he's called later on by the police. Um, and he starts picking them off one by one. I think we only have four like campers who are in this group. Uh, Peter, Craig, Ingrid, and uh, Joni. Although her name is spelt Joanne, but I think they call her Joni. Um, and uh, the four of them go out. There's also a couple of random people in the woods, too, like this uh, uh, older couple who are taking pictures of like, waterfalls and stuff, and a few other people as well who are running around getting killed um, who are all nameless. Apparently all the nameless people were just members of the crew and stuff. But out of these four... Two of them get picked off. Actually, one of them gets killed, uh, the leader of the group, who's, uh, I think that was Craig, or is that Peter? I don't know. I get them confused. Um, and uh, two of them escape back into town. Joni is still left out there. She manages to uh, find the hillbilly's cabin, and she goes in there, and she gets sliced and diced, too. Uh, back in town, uh, the two survivors decide they got to go back and look for Joni. So one of them goes out, and then the other one goes and follows him. They eventually come across the wild man where they get into a fight with him, and, man, they beat the crap out of him. Uh, they started pummeling him with machetes. Stab, 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 stab. Pretty gruesome, actually. And they killed him. And then the last scene, or actually the second last scene, was the two of them like walking off into the woods. Like they're going to be some sort of woods power couple. I don't know. But the very last scene in the movie showed this little, maybe one and a half year old, two year old, laying on the ground, sitting, playing with stuff. Was that the same kid whose mom was killed earlier who was out painting in the woods? I don't know. Or I don't know what that's supposed to symbolize or what. Who knows? But anyway, that's Don't Go in the Woods. Had a pretty cool ending theme song, by the way. So, anyway, this movie was one of those video Nazis in the UK that was banned uh, in the 80s. Um, it is pretty darn gory, actually. Uh, there's a lot of pretty good gore in this as well. Um, there are some special features on here. There's a commentary with the director and uh, the lead actress. Uh, promos and stuff just all kinds of good goody stuff in here i also enjoyed the ridiculous scene with the guy in the wheelchair who was struggling to get up some mountainous path in his wheelchair all by himself he gets beheaded um apparently that guy saw a screening of the movie the, the guy who played the actor in the wheelchair he was laughing his ass off when he saw himself on screen and the woman and some woman always turned around yelling at him what if that was you in that wheelchair which just made him laugh more anyway it's called don't go in the woods it's available on dvd blu-ray here's this combo this was put out by vinegar syndrome good job vinegar syndrome the print looks fantastic much better than a film like this ever should so check it out let me know what you think about it leave some comments down below it's called don't go in the woods watch it bye